vast majority of people are struggling here. A lot of people are struggling here. And I think that is where you hit a point that's just most ripe for change. And you see it in society everywhere. When people are, excuse my language, but catching hell, that is when people decide, you know what? Anything is better than this. <laughs> I'll take a chance, I'll take a risk, I'll step out there, I'll try something because it got it has to be something better than this. And um and I think that's the importance of this conference. I think the importance of this conference is looking at the how to, looking at the barriers and looking at how we engage the community. Just given the nature of the community, you know, and how it's still connected in the ways a lot of and organic in a lot of ways, communities have been systematically dismantled in this country the past 50 years. That's not the case in Jackson. You know, there there's still folks, you know, they're, they're just graduated from college and their parents live here, their grandparents live here. You know, they're still living in the same house that they were born in. You know, you still have a lot of that uh, that you just don't find in a lot of other communities. So uh, that's a political advantage for a social movement like ours. The Black Liberation Movement that has been ongoing, the civil rights movement, you know, started back, what, in the 50s and has not stopped, okay? Um, the issues that were relevant to oppressed people, be they workers or black or gay or what have you, those issues um, still remain very much pertinent today. This is a moment we should all be proud of. It's absolutely critical that we have uh, uh, conferences and, and opportunity to fellowship and learn from one another like this this particular conference presents um, you know we are dealing with the immediate needs here in Jackson Mississippi but Jackson must serve in our opinion as an as an as a model as an example for the rest of the world as in terms of what you know cooperative economics uh, you know a cooperative genius can provide I think that's something that's lost on most civil rights activists and just lost on the general public as a whole. And I think that's something that needs to be reminded that it's something that's old, but just with a new twist, and it's something that is sustainable. Because a lot of times we don't have things, particularly in Mississippi, that's sustainable in terms of developing our people, giving them the skill sets, and also providing a way for them to build wealth um, for a long term um, or something built to last. So I think that's what this new economies conference is really about. That's what this uh, Jackson Rising conference is really about. I think this conference is a space that we can put our heads together and say, you know, we understand what the barriers are. How do we support each other in removing those barriers? Um, how do we, and how do we not just do it in pockets? How do, and, and I understand that, you know, what we're trying to do, we're trying to build what we're trying to build in Jackson, but we understand this connection to Chicago. We understand this connection to Los Angeles. We understand this connection to um, New York. And we understand that, you know, it's a movement.